This video will demonstrate a pressure decay test using a Sentinel I-28 and explore the effects of volume on a pressure decay test. We'll be using two different sized parts. We have a larger volume and a small, smaller volume. Using a CTS leak standard to simulate a leak within our system. The basic operation of a pressure decay test is to fill the part to a specified pressure isolate the part from source pressure, let the pressure stabilize within the system, and measure the change in pressure over a desired time. For this test, our specifications are 15 PSI target pressure, a 5 second fill stage, 10 seconds for stabilize, and 10 seconds for test. We will run the small volume first. and run it without our simulated leak to ensure there's no leaks within the system. monitor shows there's no pressure change for that test. We'll now insert the leak standard for a simulated leak and run the test again. The result for the smaller volume part was a change in pressure of 0 0.59 PSIG. We will now change it out for the larger volume part. Also removing the leak standard to run an initial test. For the fill and stabilize portions of the pressure decay test, the monitor will show the instantaneous pressure within the part. And during the test segment, it will show the cumulative pressure change. We will now insert the leak into the system simulated before. pressure change for the larger volume part was 0 0.32 PSIG. This is smaller than a smaller pressure change than what we saw for the small volume part. Um, the same pressure and same leak um, for both tests, um, it can be seen that with the larger volume you can see a smaller change in pressure over the same test time.